Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking the Weeds. When you hear of a well-cooked steak, is this your reaction? Well, today, I'm going to show you how to cook a steak well that's still juicy and not tough. You can stop running from this one. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and, hey, let's just get to it. All right, guys, so here we go. The well-cooked steak. Probably the most controversial topic ever. So... The technique's not going to change, no matter what temperature you cook the steak to, all right? And I'm going to show you the whole technique. So what we have here is just a, we have a steak, which I let sit on the counter for about 15, 20 minutes to bring it up to room temperature. Okay. That way, when you cook it, the steak's not cold in the middle. You don't want to cook it right from the refrigerator. And we're going to use kosher salt, black pepper, some bay leaves, and some garlic. Okay, guys. While we wait for our cast iron to heat up, we're gonna season our steak. We're gonna generously season it with some kosher salt and black pepper, both sides. Use the other hand here. All right, generously season this, kosher salt and black pepper. All right, and then we can take the rest of the seasoning that's on here and kind of just get it on the steak itself. Right. Wash the hands and be right back. All right, guys. We're up close and personal here. We got our cast iron pan that I brought up the temp. Now, you don't want the pan on fire. You want it hot enough just to get a good sear on the steak. So we're going to take our steak that we generously seasoned. We're going to hit it with some olive oil, just a little bit. Work that around in the pan. And we're going to place this right in here. And we're going to let that sear three to four minutes. Okay, so we've been going about, yeah, about four minutes here. We're going to give this a nice flip. Press that right back down on there. Now, like I mentioned, the technique's not going to change. We're going to hit it with some butter. A little bit of garlic bay leaves and a habanero pepper for a little heat. And what we're going to do is we're going to baste it. Like I mentioned, the technique is not going to change. Okay. And we'll let that side go for another four minutes. All right. So this side's been going about four minutes. And what we're going to do is we're going to baste it one more time. Then we're going to remove the steak from the heat. We're going to place it in a preheated oven at 350 for 8 to 10 minutes. Okay, guys, so here we have it, the finished product. Now, the steak took a little longer. I'd say it took about 13, 14 minutes. So when I took it out, I temped it, and it was 155 degrees. And then I covered it with tin foil. You want to let it rest. That's the key. Like I mentioned earlier, no matter what temperature you cook the steak to, you want to let it rest. Okay? So, you can look at this right here. I mean, that thing is definitely well done. But look at the juices here. Look at the juices on there. Let's cut it open and take a look. Okay, guys, we gave this one a cut. And you can see right here that that is definitely well done. All day long. Okay, guys. So let's come. Um, let's get into this real quick here. That is just definitely well done and juicy. See that? It's not. Mm. So I say we take a bite. That is outstanding. Most controversial topic ever, the well-cooked steak. And yes, it can be done. I really hope you try this one. All of us, you know, medium rare, rare eaters, this stuff works. I'm telling you. Thanks for watching Cooking the Weeds. And we'll see you soon.